All right, we are going to talk a little bit about agar cups, different options. These are the ones that I like the most. Um, you see my video on how to make them and how to sterilize them and be a pressure cooker and all that. Now, people are asking me about the ketchup cups or condiment cups. I used to use these first. I used them for a while, they worked great. The difference is that you have to sterilize your agar in a jar. So after the agar is sterilized, you pour them outside afterwards in a still air box or in front of a laminar flow hood, whatever. Now, I don't like pouring after. Um, there's a few reasons. One, look how thin this is. So we can get away with only half an hour, 30 minutes of sterilizing because it's thin. It's, it's very little material to sterilize. Whereas the jar, you need to sterilize it for a bit longer. My preference for these is because they come out of the pressure cooker individually. I just let them cool. When they gel, when they harden, um, put them upside down, wait two or three days, and all the condensation is gone, like this one. Um, don't use them before the condensation is gone. I've done it, and it's just more messy. This is much better. Just to wait. Wait a couple days. Make them a few days before you need them. Don't, don't rush patience, as we always say. Now there's another type of condiment cup, container, deli container it's called. And this one is also, you can probably not see it there, PP5. Now it's much thinner and smaller. Um, it's uh, practically the same size as the cheap ones. But they may work i have never tried this so i'm going to make some agar and sterilize these three types and see what happens this one may not melt if it doesn't it will be a cheaper alternative than these these are stronger better and these this i'm sure is going to melt so you would to use these cheap ones you would have to pour them outside another thing about these is that they are not sterile because when you take them out of the, the bag they come in and and you put them in the still air box or in front of your flow hood they they are sterile in the bag but s since they are nested together and since they are nested together you know you, you're making a mess when you take them out I keep them inside a Ziploc and individually wrapped as they come in the bag. And with clothes spins, I keep them hopefully clean. Now here's another point. Um, in order to use these, I can't put them in the pressure cooker with this thing flapping around. So I am going to cut these off. So we can cover them loosely and cover them with um, aluminum foil. So we're going to do that. Leave that loose, put aluminum foil on them when we pressure cook them. So here's what we got. Two cheap ketchup cups of the flimsy kind. Five of the PP5 condiment cups that are kind of thin. And two of my favorite PP5. 
All right, I put the large PPP cups on the bottom. I tried to keep the cheapo ones, thin plastic ones on top, but, and these are the other PP5 cups. We'll see who survives. We know that the large ones are gonna survive because I do that all the time. Um, the thicker plastic ones should survive. They're also PP5 and they're not as thick, but they should survive. The ketchup cups I am predicting are going to melt. We'll see. We might get lucky, who knows? This is why we experiment. All right. We're done pressure cooking. Left this to cool down by itself. Let's see what we're gonna find. All right. The ketchup cups don't look like they've melted. I'm surprised. Let's take them out and see how they look. All right, so these no are good. Close them. Yeah, I gotta let them harden a little bit and then I will flip them upside down. These are the new PP5s. Close them, set them aside. Got a lot of condensation as expected. to happen with the ketchup cups. Interesting that the lid melted. That is weird. But the cup was fine. That's sad. Would have been great if the lid wouldn't have melted. Hmm. Because the cup is fine. Before. Oh. Huh. So definitely these you have to pour outside after you can't do the no pour so these you can't put in the pressure cooker because of the lids I guess you could put them in the pressure cooker and then put the lids after but then you're not sterilizing this although when we st sterilize it and pour them outside sterilize it in the pressure cooker and pour them outside we we don't sterilize these so maybe we could do that but I'd rather use these actually these are the best so now you know why I prefer these. They're just so much easier. Bigger, better look. I am going to use these. 
Since I had a maid. Let me show you something else that's cool about these. They stack. See this? So when you do put them upside down, you can stack them. They stack. 